Damage boost means, like, if something runs into you, how you get knocked back a little bit. You can use that damage to shoot you up to areas you're not meant to be in, effectively sequence breaking. It's a thing, speedrunners do it all the time. I know there's gonna be stuff in this grass hurting me, I don't know what... Oh, all of these white dots? Okay. I thought there would just be monsters I could actually see. The underwater sector has become very hostile as of late. The recent violent earthquakes have made it completely inaccessible. Quite sure one will need a hookshot to access it. I know some are stored in the volcanic sector. Oh, excuse me. Seems there might be a safe area on the other side of the sector. I have no chance of getting through the heat myself, but maybe someone else will. Map updated with location of the hookshot. Cool. Is that it? Do you want me to run there? It's a little dangerous, don't you think? Not putting up with any of this. Oh, wait, oh, no, I can't. There's no way up, right? That would be too easy. Nope. Oh, once it falls down, then you can't get it back up again. And it immediately falls down when you come from that direction. I think you can maybe run straight into it. Oh, but it knocks you straight backwards, so that's not going to help me very much. Um, don't die here. No, I said don't die here. Alright, so I guess now that I have that information, they want me to head back in that direction. However, I'm not sure quite how I'm supposed to do that, considering I don't have a suit that lets me go in the hot. So I'll just have to wander around, see what happens. I don't think I committed this to the map yet. No, I didn't. This is just a, it's a dead end, but still, you know, I like to map everything I can. Wonder if I should bother shooting the wall on the right side. Probably not, but we'll see. So this is not going to take us anywhere. And for anyone wondering, this is indeed a blind playthrough. I've only just played the beginning of a pre-release version of this. Right. Uh, I would like it if there was like a better... Way. Maybe I can just cheese it and get through here and then get to a save or something. This does not seem very likely that that is going to be the case. Having me run through here seems like a real bad idea. Oh. Made it. Alright, so now can I go back up? not hot here. Alright, so maybe I was intended to do that, actually. I have to not let my 
Metroidiness betray me. Okay, looks like we're going in the right direction. What is all that stuff? Oh, one-way block. That means boss fight. It always does. But, you know, on the upside, we'll uh, learn ourselves a hookshot after that. What are you? Are you a machine? Are you a bug? Scorpion? I can't quite tell what we're looking at. Uh, some kind of machine, I guess. Some kind of GLaDOS thing. What are we doing here? Oh, goodness. Oh, I can hurt it. Alright, so I guess if I stay... Oh, that goes all the way across. Gotta remember that. If I stay roughly under it, but always to the side, I should be able to get some hits in. And this would be the big explosion. Alright. I'm probably gonna die on this one, but I think I know what to do for the next time. I've already learned all the patterns. There's not much to it, actually. The way the neck of it is moving is sort of reminding me a little bit of, like, the mother brain from the end of Super Metroid. Uh-oh. Seem to have opened up some kind of other thing. Where do I shoot it now? Oh. We back? It looked like it stopped uploading, so I went offline for like three seconds. Okay. Alright, sorry about that if it got cut off or something there. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I died anyway, and I wasn't really sure how to damage the boss, so we're just we're gonna fit finish it hopefully this time. So what did it really do? I broke off the bottom part of it, and then there was like a little terminal over on the right side. Maybe I have to do something with that. I didn't really get a good look at it. Uh, you're positioning yourself very awkwardly there. Taking a bunch more damage than I would like already. Jesus. Alright, well, I guess I'll just get hit like four times in a row. I don't understand why those orbs are emanating out of the background like that. Ah. I had those line up before. Oh, that's how I heard it. Okay, so there's a terminal on either side, I guess. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Now what? Now I go back over there? Yep, each time I break that, it hurts a little more. Thank you, Warknall, for the three months in a row resubscriptions. Yikes. That was a little close. Uh, we got three more HP left. It's either one or two more of these terminals I gotta blow up. There we go. Success! And this would be what? My hook shot? 
Yes. Press button six to swing to hard to reach areas. What is button six? Oh, right bumper? Got it. Yeah, that works. So we've got mobility mostly sorted out. We've got a double jump and a grappling hook already. It's more than you usually would expect in one of these types of games. Usually they're all about the weapon upgrades early on. Alright, I need, I need to actually figure out how to use it properly though. So you can't blow your double jump until afterward. There we go. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to hook across the bottoms of all these. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. I hope I was supposed to go that way. This is it. As I write this, there is really no help for our group. Although I highly doubt any human is safe on this station anymore. The robots seem to have all have gone uh, on murderous rampages, and I can't seem to shut them off. See, Soma. Uh, I've heard that some scientists are trying to find out what's going on over in the underwater sector. Although even if they do, I doubt they'll be able to stop the slaughter. Still, maybe the data they uncover will be helpful for someone. Map updated with the location of the researchers. Found them. I was really hoping there'd be a save point there. Alright, so now that I have the grappling hook, uh, I kind of can't not get map completion in that one tile, so... See what that's all about. What about, like, uh... Oh, you can't really use this to cheese much, can you? No. You know what? I needed the practice anyway. We'll go right back up this again. But now that I have the save point, I don't have to worry. I guess I should be much more capable of doing this quickly now. So, the map tile was directly below... Ah. Ah, that's if you screw up. I never screwed up. This machine can restore your energy if you happen to get hurt. Oh, I missed that too. Press button 2 in front of it to use it. Cool. And you're gonna put it in a position where I can't easily get to it, huh? Or maybe I was supposed to get it on the way out. Ah, that's how. Well, I don't need it because I have full health. No, I know. Yeah, the hook seems pretty nice. How am I liking the game? The game seems fantastic. I have no complaints. Alright, well, the only complaint I really had was that the W's and the H's look a little similar in the font. But that's more just because it's, you know, low res. It's not really a big deal. I'm a big boy, I can figure out typography. What is happening here? So it looks like we've got a raid coming, and I'm not sure quite from who yet. Oh shit, is that a, it's a raid from Noir? Dang. That is a, a healthy raid. Thanks so much. I was playing that game you don't like talking about. <laughs> oh, I'm in the death zone right now. Hang on. Um, thank you so much, by the way. That was uh, really kind of you to, to send everybody over. Please feel free to link up Noir in chat, please. Can I grapple over this? Oh, I wonder if you can momentum this. No? 
Ah, there we are. Oh, there's a will, there's a way. Uh, these teleports would be mighty useful if I actually had access to them. Too bad I don't have my access card with me anymore. Furthermore, the rest of them are locked up rather far away. I've updated the location of the teleporter access card. That would be fantastic if we could actually use them, yes. I'll just go through the back of this wall here. No big deal. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of momentum that I just gained. Um, don't kill me, Rel. Like, come on, guys. I'm still just figuring this out. Oh, no! Why would I fall there? Rip. Where am I? All right, well, we've got to go back for that. I assume it's another energy tank, and those are worth another four energy units. That is enough for me to care, so we're going to do that again. I think the longer the uh, hook is, the more momentum you gain. I don't know exactly how I did that before, but we'll figure it out. Or do that. That's totally a bug, but I'll take it. Alright, maybe I'll ignore the bugs? No, I don't think there's much ignoring of those to be done. Also, I've got to go back now, so... Right. Oh, bots. But spots, spots. Barely alive. Even if I make it to that, well, unless the the health might reset. Oh my god! I didn't have the second jump. I thought maybe the if I pick up that health unit it would reset all the rest of my old health. I've got to figure out how to predictably use the grappling hook to go through the floor. That's good times. Like that, apparently. Okay, so it's like repeatable. Speedrunners unite. Well, I'll go ahead and give you guys that are curious my early assumption about the quality of this game, and it seems very, very good. So if you're a fan of Metroidvanias, I feel like you probably would enjoy this. Oh, there we are. Much better. Oh, and it does refill it. Everything's gravy now. I have indeed played Axiom Verge, yes. I, uh, I got all the stuff in that. Alright, so we go out a little bit stronger than we came in. Always a good thing. A little bit of progress. Never hurt. Okay, maybe if I could stop getting hit with these freaking bugs for like three seconds, that would be fantastic. We'll, we'll work that out eventually, too. Oh, The placement. <laughs> so perfect. Hits me every single time. Alright, there's the save, and I think we leave? I gotta go back into the dead zone. Oh, I have more health now. Shouldn't be a problem. I had enough health to do it going in. Excuse me. That's not a thing. That's super not a thing. Nope. This is probably gonna be a problem. Probably meant to just, like, scoop across the bottom there. But instead I'll just do everything wrong and explode. Thanks, Roswack. I also love that Metroidvanias are making a comeback. This is pretty much my favorite genre of game. Quite excited to see Bloodstained. There's, well, there's probably several coming up in the distant future that I'm excited for, but... That one I know in particular I am interested in. Alright, so there's... Whoa, what? 
Is that a thing that I just did? No, I guess it just lets you go up. These pink blocks have a strong current running through them. This means that your shot cannot latch onto them. Oh, well that's really inconvenient. Maybe get some better blocks? What do you want me to do with this? It'll just kind of like... Do one of those? I feel like that wasn't the way you're meant to do that, but whatever. Hey, Gunderman. There's actually a surprising amount of diversity going on in these environments. I love it. Oh, what? Where is this? Oh. I don't have this on the map yet. Oh, hello! Eyes everywhere. Keep your eyes on the prize. This must be a teleport. You can move instantly between any teleport in the past. Yep. However, you must have access card. I know that. So we want to go deep down, I guess, first? Can you play the Swapper? I've been asked several times, and it is on my list to play, yes. We're going to worry about this one first, but it is quite likely that I will eventually play that, yes. Where does this go? Supposed to hook shot through there? I think I am. Is that... I think that's the ceiling that I can go through. No, maybe not. Maybe I won't risk it yet. up with all these free energy areas. Oops. I'm gonna fall, grab, and jump. This soundtrack is, like, so good. I gotta see who composed this stuff, because this is... And I've said this a number of times, but it seems like exactly the type of stuff that I want to get commissioned for my channel. It's just subtle enough that it's like, it rings out as a little bit like a retro tune, but it also has some complexity to it. A lot of character as well. I didn't really ask for much more than that. Alright, what am I doing here? A lot of weird steaminess. That doesn't reach anywhere. I don't think I can reach any blocks at all. I can do this though. That works. Alright, looks like we're going in roughly the right direction. Kinda glad those didn't dissolve under me. Oh, that's pushing me out. So clearly this is not the way you go, unless I can cheese it with the hook shot. Which might be a thing, I don't know. Trying to learn new speedrun strats before I've even played through the game. These are the musicians that compose the soundtrack. Thank you. Would you uh, mind, if possible, tweeting those uh, links to me? I mean, I could probably find it on my own as well, but um, here in Twitch chat, unfortunately, it gets kind of buried eventually. Okay, so what was actually the point of going that way? I don't think there was one. I'm quite enjoying the world composition as well. It feels like it's got a lot of different areas to go through that we're gonna sort of figure out one by one. Also, I don't think I can kill that. I'm assuming another Metroid-y type shout-out shout type thing. also another way out. I don't think there's a way you can climb walls with one jump on this. What if I did like a fall off and then swing around in a circle? That would be very clever if I could pull that one off. Well, we're 
already found one exploit, why not go for more? You gotta hit it at just the right moment, swing around, then grab the wall and use it to leap back up the other end. I almost feel like it's possible, actually. Nope. I'll only do this for another few moments. It's helping me learn the way the physics work as well. You gotta get just the right angle so it swings you around to the other end. That was closer. Oh, that was the closest so far! Now you see what I'm trying to do, right? You gotta have the distance on the grapple, and then you'll come out the other end, and then you can hook up at the top and you'll just basically hop right up. It's really hard to time it, though. This is one of those things I feel like people would see it done on, like, AGDQ if it's even possible. And it would be, like, perfect, and no one would even realize that this took, like, someone a month to do perfectly every time. Okay, I might give up in a second here. Also, more than likely, I'll get up to the next zone, and I can't even go any further anyway, so... Also, there also just might be, like, a way up. <laughs> I'm creating many more difficult scenarios than are actually the ones that are necessary. Oh, that was so close! I love sequence breaking, it's like my favorite thing ever. I don't know why. I'm obsessed with it. It's like my inner hipster turned into game dexterity. You tell me I can't do something? Well, fuck the man. I can do anything. Alright, I'm giving up for now. We'll come back with a new set of skills. I'll break your sequence. I'm not actually sure that what I was trying to do is even possible, but I just wanted to give it a try for a bit. Oh. These guys could be a little bit risky. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Health chamber, please. Jeez. Took me a second to see where I was before I started uh, reacting to what was happening there. Have we reached environmental station beta? Computer's offline! I hate computers that are offline. I can't use them to upload YouTube videos and stuff. Alright, we can handle this. Oh, do they... They don't seem to respond very well to water, I guess. I've got to really believe and understand that inside of my body is a hookshot. Oh, that's not anything. Okay. What? Oh, that's a switch. Clever girl. I assume if I walk back out of there, then that switch will not be activated. But let's just keep going this way because there might be a key card for me here. Somewhere. That's one way wall? No. Alright, this is a waste of time. Well, let's kill these first. I'm really surprised it didn't hit me there. Everybody, go away. Thank you. Everybody get shifty. Oh my god! 
Freaking brute with a laser beam here. I got your game. As long as I keep alternating jumping high, jumping low, everything's fine. What are you all about? Oh, I found the teleport access card already. I can use teleporters when pressing button 2 in front of one you choose where to teleport. Awesome. Oh, you can only teleport to locations you already visited. I'm assuming it won't count the ones that I have already visited but didn't have the card for, maybe? I don't know. Um, I don't think I've fussed with that computer then, huh? I quite like the way the momentum works with the hook. The lower it is, the faster you jet up the other end. Kind of feels right, you know? But yeah, some of these foreground background things are a little bit tough to discern. Like, generally they're pretty good. Like, the background here, you can tell the parallax area is super backgroundy. But then we've got like a mid background foreground, like the... I'll just stand still for a split second. Like this right here that looks like a new NVIDIA graphics card embedded in the wall. Um, that's fine. But something like this, the edge of this door frame here, that looks a little too close to foreground to me. Maybe that's just me, though. Like, you actually can't tell the difference between the foreground and the, the background in that particular instance. Anyway, I'm not really complaining. It's just, like, one of the very few uh, little iffy things, I guess, that I'm noticing. Ah, here's the solution. Oh, you dick! You got me all excited, and then you did the thing! I hate when you do that. I can't stop. Won't stop. 